I'm Dr. Jan Carney from Lerner College of Medicine. We're seeing more and more people in the United States getting sick from COVID-19 every day and also in Vermont. Schools and restaurants are closed and we don't know exactly how long this is going to last. This is very hard for everyone, but there is something we can do. There's a proven public health strategy called social distancing that we can all use each and every day, whether at home or at work, that will help us. We know that social distancing works. It just means separating people from each other. From more than 100 years ago, from the 1918 influenza pandemic, where communities that practice social distancing, they closed schools, they limited public gatherings, they kept sick people at home. They separated themselves from each other. Those communities had less illness and they did much, much better. We can do the same thing today. What does social distancing look like? What does it mean? For people, it means staying six feet away from each other. Instead of a handshake or a hug, we greet each other with a smile or just a wave. We stay home when we're sick. We wash our hands frequently. And in workplace settings, sometimes we work at home. The flexibility at the University of Vermont means many more people are working at home. And that's a great thing that protects them. And then it means there's less people in the workplace and they're more spaced out. Some of the other things we can do are to not have face-to-face -face meetings. Use our technology, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Skype, and the telephone to see each other's faces and hear each other's voices. I think that's especially important right now. I know this is hard and as the situation is changing, we're monitoring those recommendations and what is happening here in our own community, in the state of Vermont, and across our country. And we'll change as those recommendations change. And even though sometimes we're by ourselves working in our home or in the only person in our office or a laboratory, our conference room. We're all lonely together right now. And we also have to remember that what we're doing to protect ourselves and our families also protects other people from getting sick and sometimes seriously so. And I think that's a great thing.